Hello guys and welcome to another project on my channel. Today we built Blackbeard Ship or the Queen Ants Reed Ranch. Inspired by the Pirates of the Caribbean. And yes, this is a bigger, better and improved version of my further project, the Black Pearl. For the tutorial of the Black Pearl, look here. And I know you think you could never build such a project, but with my step-by-step -step tutorial and the free templates linked in the description below, you can easily do this. And yes, if you have any idea what I should build next, then write it down below in the comments also. The Queen Ants Me Ranch was the idea of a viewer. If you like the video, so you can like it. And if you don't want to miss some other videos, then you can subscribe my channel. Thank you. First, print out the templates from the video description and cut out the individual parts. Glue them on a piece of cardboard and cut everything out. At the end, you can remove all paper scraps and label the parts if necessary. For the first part, we need pages 1, 2 and 3. Restart with the skeleton of the ship. Glue the parts A to I together in this order. This is the cross section we need. Now we need the sides 3 and 4. Glue like in a video, everything should be vertical. First glue one side completely and then mirror it to the other side. Bend the cardboard to fit the shape. L and M goes into the each here. Clue K you must need, so that it fits to the round form. Everything we do now, you have to transfer on the other side as well. I've already worked here, so it should look like this for you. But we start at the beginning. Stick A and B to the top like this. Since I make a mistake, we have to add C here. D goes here, E comes now multiple times in the middle part. This is what it looked like. F goes in the very back like this. Clue the rest like in the video. M and O you have to need again, so it can be glued to the band in the back. Yeah. 
Now we shape a bit of curve in the front. With V, we glue the triangle in the back. Now just take a couple pieces of cardboard and then glue them between the struts so they are tight and nothing wobbles. That done, we have the skeleton done. And now we come to the next phase. Take cardboard again and knead it. Then glue it to the skeleton as a kind of skin. The thin Amazon cardboard is ideal here, but it also works without. Now grab some water and even less craft glue and mix it together. Now take some wrapping paper, dip it into the glue and put it on the structure. Take your time here, again take your time and glue everything full and let it dry. I have made two layers of this. Here I have already made one side. Glue the next parts on top of each other. A goes here, B comes at an angle. Cut it slightly diagonally, glue the rest like in the video. F you have to knead into the shape again. Now we make the window at the back. For this glue I to H. Push them together and glue J down. This looks like this. Now take a ruler and a knife and precisely cut these areas free. Now take a strip of cardboard half a centimeter thick and glue it along the length of the ship. This is the black pearl but without the cannons, which we will do much better with this model. Glue the windows in this strip. Here the corner you have to cut a hole. After that you have to glue a strip here. B and C must then go here. Now comes the good stuff. Cut out a lot of small strips, also a half a centimeter thick, and glue them staggered around the ship. You can vary the length on the planks.
Avoid this. Other side, it will look not good. Also make sure that you cut the planks cleanly at the each. Glue the plank overhanging and cut it to the shape. Piece by piece and a lot of work. We then have our base. Glue planks everywhere except at the back. On the inner sides and at the front. Now glue three D's on top of each other and stick them like this. Two E's are each then placed to the left and right of them. Glue as in the video, but always three times on top of each other. H you need six times. Now we need a stand for the ship. Build it from the parts I and J. And I recommend to use thicker cardboard to make it more stable. Clue twice each K and L on top of each other and glue it together with M on both sides like this. This should fit perfectly to the shape here. Take long strips again and glue them on the strips here, so that we can clearly fight them. Now we go to the cannon flaps. For that, glue N in the windows. If you don't wanna build any cannons, just close the flaps. O will be our cannon too. Knead them and roll it up. Then glue it runs around in the lower row. Glue M so that it becomes the ladder to the top. Now take clear varnish and cover the whole ship with it. This gives a better look and even protects. Don't be too sparring with it.
Now it's on to the first decoration with pages 9, 10 and 11. A, B and C goes in the front here. Now we cut the part slightly to look like this. Take a part from this and draw the grey lines with it. Cut in there lightly, in no case all the way through. Now we glue like in the video. You need to dot twice, but this one we'll be using again in a moment, just a little smaller. Pay attention to the numbers at the bottom right. comes all the way to the back. Now we make another layer with planks, but this time on the inside. Wanna know why me Roger is so jolly? <laughs> now it's time for the cannons. As you have to roll up like O before. Glue it to the parquet, but let it stick a little out. Then place this at one hole at a time. For the back hole you only need the small cardboard piece. Glue as shown. Now glue V and W a little bit offset to A. Clue B and C on each other like this, and then with D and E to the back of the ship.
Now you have to glue 5 times F on top of each other and then here. H is a wooden skewer, but with a tip. Then glue I on top of it. J you have to cut out of wrapping paper. Piece through this and glue it to the top of the ship. For the lower one, glue as in the picture. From M, N and O you have to glue a box. This goes here. P comes to bands in the back. G then goes to the top and bottom. Now come the stairs. Clue like in the video. For the steps, just stick thin strips of cardboard to the bottom. You have to knead this part at the bottom and bend it outwards. Before you glue it, glue the railing, it'll show you the shape. In the front you do the same with X. Now glue a railing once around on the each like this. A goes in the front as a railing. S to B and D. C goes here. Take your time here, that can be really tricky. Don't forget stairs. This will be the steering wheel.
stick it at the top of the square. At H, orientate yourself at the first two cannons. And glue it above the cardboard strips. The second one goes here. At I, orientate yourself by the indicated points. J now comes bent to the sides of H and I. Now build the anchor twice and glue it to the both sides. Now comes the mast. Here you have a rough sketch of that. First take wooden skewer and shorten or lengthen them to the length in the table in the left corner. Now take wrapping paper and wrap it around the skewers. Then take strips with a thickness of a half a centimeter and the length of the pole and glue it once around. Now take the pole pieces with the tip and pierce as in the middle. Then insert the poles into the three surfaces. Be careful with the different length on the mast. The mast on the front, we does not need a S part, just put them in the middle. Then glue the second row of mast directly to it. When this is done, glue two T's on top of each other and glue them to the front two masts. The small one goes to the back.
Now we make the webs. Take one of these strings and measure from the platform down how long the string needs to be. Keep in mind that you also have to glue it, so leave a little more string. Then glue both ends as they should be in the ends. Of course directly next to each other at the top and further apart at the bottom. Now put heavy objects on the end. ends have tens. Glue the cross strips and cut away the overhanging ends. Now you can remove the web from the cardboard and glue it to the platform. Pull on it and have tension on the string and glue it to the bottom. Glue an eye one each end. Now we glued the top Mars layer, exactly the same as the bottom ones already. Now we do the sails. Do the same as you did with the mast already. Once you've done that with all of them, we need the sails. The length of the sails is the same as the poles and the desired length of how long you want them to hang. For one sail, three times and glue it on the top of each other. Then cut it as shown here. Glue the pole to the top. Glue it like this. Now you should maybe notice that there is still one pole left. Glue it here. Now glue a screw as tip to the top of each mass. Now take a long string and glue it to the backmost pole. Now go around once at the top. Keep tension and then glue it to the top at the front. Do the same here. The first time only from the foremost to the top. Now glue a string to the bottom corner of each sail and stretch it to the back. Here you can see it by the white bars. This looks like this. Important! From the backmost mast, a string leads frightly to the back and the mast is steadily. But on such a high, watch out anyway. Now stick this to each sail. The 
Queen Anne's Revenge has a cage on the back of it, rebuilt as in the video. Then hang it to the back. You can adjust the length of your string yourself. Every pirate ship needs a flag and the Queen Anne's Revenge is ready. So this was my tutorial of the Queen Anne's Revenge or Blackbeard's ship and I hope you had a lot of fun to build this. If you have any ideas what I should build next, write it down below in the comments. If there's a few questions you can write it down below also. And if you like this video, also now you can like this video or can subscribe my channel. Here is another tutorial and here is the whole playlist, so check it out. So I say, till the next time, bye!